Watching the Mizuno Wave Rebellion pros, I know it's delayed, I know there's number two outs, but that means there's a bargain if you've got the right shoe size. This is made so far more for the casual jog because when you actually go faster, I tend to go more mid to more four foot, and that's where the alpha fly kicks in. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully get a sub 19. I don't think it'll be a PB. I don't feel it today. I don't feel uh, these shoes are gonna propel me forward much more, but I'm also wearing this thermal top. So there we go. Joe here. It's really good knowing that people watch what I <laughs> put out there. Nice. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Come on. All right. Three twenty seven. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Back on. Thanks so much. Set. Come on. Let one down. Well done. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Go, Andy. All right. Three thirty seven. Come on. All right. 344 Done All right Yeah Thank you Wow! Oh well done. Well done. Good. Amazing, it's almost collided. Sorry about that. That's alright. Okay. I'm shattered. You kept me on my toes. I know. Nathan. Nice going, Nick. I was running behind you like a month ago or so. Here. Uh, a few weeks back, uh, I messed up my knee a bit, so I thought I'd take a chill. Um, so I went for a nice little pace, and this guy was encouraging me all the way. I was uh, 22 minutes, that one. Yes. And I, was in, I had a knee trouble as well. First week of January, and I was taking it easy. I thought 25 minutes, but it ended up to be 22. Nice going, Nick. Well done. Well done, yeah. Thank you. You kept me going. <laughs> Thanks so much. What's your name? Michael. Michael, of course. Thanks, And Nick, amazing. Kept me honest. Nice work. Ultimately, when you rate a running shoe, it's how, how easy it makes you feel and then the time. So the first K, I don't know if it's right, 3.27. I don't know whether that's right, but uh, that's the fastest start I've ever had. And I felt good. Actually, quite, quite easy, actually. So to do that, to pull that off, amazing. And I don't know what this equates to. Is that sub 18, 3.36? We shall find out on the parkrun results. Um, I say it is a fast shoe, but I was pushing it, not filming a whole lot, um, and had this top on. So that's another excuse. And I did hill repeats yesterday, giving it my all up Greenwich Park Hill six times, and trying to hit like 4, 4, 10, 4, 15 pace, three hour marathon pace that is. So yeah. So how I rate these? We'll see the results and find out. 
the, the times and then go from there. But I have to say, as a Super Shoe Mizuno, um, it did the job. It did the job. Go on. Nice going, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought you kept me on my feet. The other guy, I kept distance as well. I know, I heard you breathing. You were panting quite a bit, and then I thought, you're not going to hang on. And you hang on for another, like, 2K at least. And then uh, maybe the last lap, maybe I dropped you or so on, but... Uh, yeah, I got sucked around for some slow people, so... Nah, <laughs> I, I've got lots of excuses as well. The best thing about running, you can tell the story however you want to. <laughs> I got a sub 20, which is all I want, which is PB. Oh, I first time? Third time, but Third the others time. was 21 and a half, so... What was your, what was your time today? 19.50 something. Yeah, oh, and, oh, wow, yeah, PB. Yeah. PB for this course. There you go, woo! Come on. <laughs> Oh wow, oh wow, I PB'd it today, 17.47, it was, oh, wait, wait, I'm just going to show this thing, it, it was 17.54 with someone pacing me in Southwark, and I got a 17.47 just then, unbelievable, <laughs> oh wow, unbelievable, PB, 17.47, unbelievable, Mizuno Wave Rebellion, 7th position, the guys really pushed it today, I had to say. Uh, had to really work for it. 3.27, maybe that's legit time for the first K. Didn't feel, didn't feel effortful. Running here 5K was effortful. But um, mate, there you go. Happy, happy, happy. Maybe these are the marathon shoes I'm gonna be wearing. Let's find out. Uh, this is Toby. We were running the other day, <laughs> London City Runners. And I was running with Joe. He was taking it easy first up to Westminster and I heard this guy <laughs> running and I thought, where did he come from? I'd gone out quite fast, I think. And then he, this guy made me just keep on going and feeling comfortable with someone with me. Well, I, at least, I thought we were going to stop at Southwark, uh, sorry, Vauxhall Bridge for a photo yeah, like normal I, and you carried on. And but I, was like, no. I know Joe doesn't and I weren't sure whether you're with yeah, me, yeah. so I thought, I'll no. just hammer it. <laughs> and yeah, I kept going this training's been pretty you. good, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so very good to good, see you. Very good, yeah, So yeah. good, Toby. Yeah. Okay, nice easy cool down after a PB 5k park run. Unbelievable. My thoughts, they're not a stability shoe. Then again, what to expect when you want the shoe to propel you forward. Good grip, as I said, it's really tacky. Not sure, you want to stick it to a nice smooth surface, not on like gravel or uneven pavement. So, trying to land midfoot to actually let the structure of the shoe, trampoline, kangaroo jumping shoes, work for me. And uh, yeah, anyway, the first K, didn't matter, I did get it done. These did perform. Um, the first K, didn't really think about the structure of the shoe, just ran, didn't think I'll perform so well. But later on, third K, fourth K, I was thinking, all right, I must actually use the shoe to my advantage and actually land more midfoot and let it propel me. So I actually tried to w run more like run like Ronaldo more, flick my legs and try to land more midfoot. And maybe that helped, maybe it didn't. But ultimately the shoe performed, so happy with my PB. I'm gonna put these on the sh shelf and just admire them because they were excellent. Then again, I was also thinking when I did my PB last time with a 1754 being paced, I thought about Seb who was pacing me, pumping my arms, uh, working my form and really going for it. Also had a runner right behind me which really pushed me and also had a guy right in front of me which I just kept, kept, the, kept, kept the distance so really happy with that. Sometimes you need other people to actually push you along. Uh, really part, fun part of parkrun is that you're running with people who are running at a good pace as well. Go Great Britain. Ok, 
Okay, just completed a warm up for park run, park run, and a 16k cool down, easy run. So, verdict is they are fast. 1747 on my watch, 5k park run. However, when warming up and cooling down, I don't know whether it gives me strength for the longer runs, such as the marathons and so on, and um, whether I feel like I've got energy for, from it. Um, so I'm not sure whether it's, it's a marathon, uh, a shoe, or something that I'll choose. Um, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just not feeling fast. Then again, I've done my fastest 5K ever. So yeah, so considering all that, is it a shoe which I'll definitely be putting in rotation and taking out to short, faster runs? Yes, definitely. But in terms of marathon, I have to yet take it out for a fresh half mara fast pace run. They are a fast shoe, not a stability shoe. They're very edgy, as you can find. There's a bit of a rock, there's a bit of a give. I actually went for a size larger than my 41s, so maybe that's got something to do with it. So seven and a half versus seven. Um, but they felt very comfortable. There's no sharp edges on the shoe, which dig into your Achilles or the side of your ankle or the tongue. It's actually very comfortable. So I'd say actually it fits um, true to size, but you can go a size higher, bigger, larger than I did today. Um, yeah, overall, great performance. Really love it today. Enjoyed the run and um, 5K done. Excited, super excited um, with my performance today. I think it's health, fitness as well. Running up the Greenwich Hill six times, working on my form. Um, on the long run back, felt the left side of calf tightness, which um, I need to stretch out, get the um, get a massage, etc., to go over that. But um, yeah, the rest of it feels very comfortable. Yeah, I said I'm not sure whether it's some shoe, a shoe I'd wear for a long run, for a long race. Yes, it's a good training shoe. Yes, it's great for if you're a plodder, five minute per k pace. But if you actually want to like. I don't know how I did sub 18 today and do a PB today. It's unbelievable. I think that's more to do with my fitness more than anything than the shoe. But then again, give it credit. But credit's due. I guess these are the Pro Originals, the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro Originals. They're on sale now, that's why they're on a bargain. I'm guessing there's not much deviation in the Pro 2. If these can perform well, I'm sure the Pro 2s can perform well. So you get them true to size or size larger. They fit very comfortable for all your kinds of runs if you like. Um, and yeah, so if you're thinking about Pro 2 reviews, I'm reviewing the Pro Original. I think it's actually a great shoe. Get it, it's awesome. You'd, you'd love it. You'd feel so comfortable from, from the get-go. Nothing more to say.